Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will explain how to add and use pressure switch in Automation Studio. But before starting this, I want to explain a little bit about the working and function of pressure switch. A pressure switch is a form of switch that operates in electrical contact when a certain set fluid or gas pressure has been reached on its input. The switch may be designed to make contact either on pressure rise or on pressure fall. It is a simple electromechanical device that is triggered by pressure to turn an electrical circuit on or off. The pressure point that activates the switch is called its set point, and the pressure threshold that deactivates the switch is called the cutout point. There are two adjustments on a pressure switch. One is called range and other one is difference. We can set the maximum required pressure through range setting. Suppose we have a water tank connected with a pressure pump and water is supplied to the house. So in this case pump must be controlled by a pressure switch. Let's make connection and adjust the pressure switch settings. Suppose we need 4 bar maximum pressure, adjust the range setting at 4 bar. When pressure reached to 4 bar, pressure switch will be operated and turn off the pump. When someone open water tap, pressure will go down. So have to adjust settings at what pressure the pressure switch should reset and pump turn on again. If we set difference at 1.5, it means when pressure reduce 1.5 bar, pump will turn on. Or we can say, when pressure goes at 2.5 bar, pump will be turn on. Now let's make a circuit using pressure switch in Automation Studio to understand how it is work. So first of all, add these components from pneumatic section. Pressure source, electrically operated directional valve. Accumulator, pressure switch, manually operated directional valve and exhaust. Arrange the components and make connections. Set the pressure switches switching pressure at 8 bar and difference at 5 bar. Now go to electrical control, IEC, and add these components for control purpose. Power source, phase and neutral. Solenoid coil for electrically operated valve. Normally open contact for pressure switch. Make connections. And link the components. Double click on solenoid coil and click on variable assignment. Browse for electrically operated directional valve and apply. Double click on normally open contact and click on variable assignment. Browse for pressure switch and apply. Now play the simulation. This valve is open and pressure is increasing in accumulator. When pressure goes to 8 bar the pressure switch contact closed and solenoid coil operated and the valve will be closed automatically. If we press this manual valve to release the pressure and when pressure go down at 3 bar because we have set the difference at 5 bar, the pressure switch reset and operate the solenoid valve to fill pressure again. I hope you understand the function of pressure switch very well. You can use it in any control circuit where you need such function. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get notification of my new videos. Goodbye.